I'm Kim Blickenstaff. I'm president and CEO of Tandem Diabetes in San Diego, California. So Kim, uh, what trends in medical device design manufacturing do you think will impact the industry the most? Well, today I'm, you're going to hear a lot about human factors, but that truly is probably the key issue right now because the FDA has a few user interfaces that are designed and validated by engineers alone and not by the consumer themselves to uh, be probably inherently dangerous because the design process didn't design out common patterns of errors that people can make. And so we work in the infusion pump arena and that's where the first uh, initiative on human factors actually was instituted back in 2010. And what I'm going to talk about is how it impacted the design of our product fundamentally from top to bottom to manufacturability to product support. It's a very key issue right now in medical devices. So Kim, what, what's the one piece of advice would you give to a startup medical device company? Well, one of the things I would, would advise them to do is use human factors early on to get a very good design uh, goal from the, from the get-go because often people come up with concepts them, themselves, spend one or two years working on it, then get the uh, consumer involved and find they've missed the mark. So if you want to save time, start early by getting your intended user customer involved in the, your, your design process. What's the one piece of advice would you give to an engineer starting in the industry uh, about medical devices? One of the things I would do is read the initiatives on the FDA webpage that regard the category of medical device that you're involved in because there's so much going on in terms of safety and human factors and user safety. Uh, they've looked at categories of devices that are more problematic and more dangerous than others and dig down and look at the initiatives, uh, the workshops the FDA is holding so you have a good awareness of what the regulatory hurdles are for your particular device because they're varying by category based upon the problems that have been seen in the marketplace. So I would start with the FDA webpage, it's all there, uh, and really get involved with your category and understanding what's going on because it is all evolving. In terms of consumerization of medical devices, do you see more medical device companies becoming more and more consumerized or the other way around where uh, consumer electronics companies are becoming more and more medicalized? You know, it's, it's an interesting question because with, with HIPAA, all this information that we have on our devices is protected, unlike in the normal world where it's content on YouTube and so forth. So there's a whole HIPAA requirement that we have around this sort of consumerization. But what I've been seeing is that more and more user interface and form factor design from the consumer side is impacting the medical device side. And I'm seeing more and more business plans where a medical device, whether it's a hospital-based device or a home-based device, is trying to mimic the simplicity and intuitiveness of the iPad or the iPhone to try to reduce training time, reduce training burden on the company itself, uh, eliminate medical errors, streamline it, make it much simpler so that more people can interact with these devices without heavy, heavy training burden that traditionally has been involved in many of these devices.